Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly, and if you're new here, then welcome to my channel. So if you're watching this video, it's gonna be kind of funny because you're noticing that I'm wearing the same exact thing and look the same exact way than I do in my summer routine video. That's because I'm right in the middle of filming that video, but I figured now would be the perfect time to do my updated curly hair diffusing video. I did a how I diffuse my curly hair video years ago, and that was with a totally different dryer. My hair was a lot shorter back then so I thought I'd do an updated version because I have this Dyson dryer I do have a review on the Dyson as well if you haven't seen it go check that out the link will be right up here but yeah so I want to just show you guys really quick this will be a quick video I want to show you how I use my Dyson dryer I love it so much especially for curly hair girl this thing cut down my drying time in half so I really love this so I'll just get into it I already styled my hair so my hair is totally styled I have the products in it ready to go generally before I diffuse my hair I like to let it set for about 20 minutes just to let it start drying a little more maybe even 20 to 30 if I have the time so if you have time to do that feel free to do that if you don't you can just get started right away so I'm gonna get started so you don't have to have a Dyson diffuser by the way guys it's okay you don't have to have a Dyson dryer I know these things are very expensive so with whatever blow dryer that you are using and I'm gonna link some in the description box as well because I've tried quite a few so I'll link the one that I really like aside from this one that's more affordable um, anyways I always like to use the lowest heat and the lowest fan setting. I know some people are against heat. Some people say don't only diffuse your hair on cool. You can do whatever works for you. So I'm gonna turn on my blow dryer and just show you. So again, I like to use the lowest heat setting and the lowest fan speed. So what I do when I diffuse my hair is I usually start in the front section of my hair. I'll just take enough that can fit into the diffuser cup. So I'll take about this much hair, place it into the diffuser cup. You're gonna let it slowly slowly kind of fall on top of each other. Place it on your head against your scalp. Turn it on. So usually I hold it here between 10 and 20 seconds. It depends on how it feels too. If you start to feel your scalp getting too hot, then stop. Okay, so once you're finished with your section, what you wanna do is turn off the blow dryer and then let your hair down. If you let your hair down while the blow dryer is still on, it's gonna fly everywhere. You're gonna get frizz, you don't want that. So you want the air to be blowing on your hair when it is in the diffuser cup only. So you can already see like the diffuser is helping this section to be more tight and defined. So now I'm gonna go to this section here and make sure again that your hair fits into the diffuser cup um, comfortably. You don't want it to be like a big mess and overflowing. It has to fit just right. So I'm gonna put it on my head and then let it down. And as much as you can, try not to touch your hair too much while you're doing this to avoid frizz. So now I'm going to flip my hair upside down. Okay, so diffusing your hair upside down definitely helps to give your hair more volume, so you definitely wanna do this. So because I already diffused the front two sides of my hair, now I'm gonna go to the back section of my hair where it's harder to reach sitting down, and I'm gonna place a section into the diffuser cup, put it to my scalp, and turn it on. And I'm just gonna keep doing this all throughout my hair. Another good tip is to flip your hair side to side while diffusing it. That way your roots don't settle going downward, you know, a certain way. They kind of have to go back and forth so that they can stay elevated and give your hair that nice volume. So I'm gonna flip. And now I'm going to continue diffusing. Okay, so for my curls, they usually start to dry on the ends first. Other people might have their roots dry first. But for me, yeah, it takes a little longer to dry my root area. So once I notice that my ends are getting dry, I don't want to overdo it because that will cause frizz and you don't want to heat damage your hair. So once it starts to dry, I kind of leave my hair the way it is and then start focusing on my roots. So I'll place the diffuser right at my scalp. And I'll just do this all around my scalp. My hair stays in place. It doesn't fly everywhere because of the diffuser. So 
So I'm just going to keep doing that until my hair is fully dry. I'm going to keep flipping my hair back and forth, diffusing different sections of my hair, placing it on my root area where it is more wet, and then just keep doing that until it dries. I know that a lot of people struggle with diffusing their hair. A lot of people have no idea how to do it. They don't know where to start. So hopefully you can see how easy it is. It really doesn't take much to get these results, and I definitely find that it's worth it for my hair at least. Um, I love to diffuse my hair. I love the results that it brings. So I'm going to keep doing this and I'll come back with my hair fully dry. Okay, so my hair is almost fully dry. It feels dry on the ends. I'm gently touching my roots to see if they are dry. I feel slight dampness there. So I'm going to place the diffuser gently on my roots. And then this is a big, big tip. Don't shake out your hair at all unless it's dry, okay? So I'm not gonna shake it out just yet. I'm gonna flip it over. I'm still gently touching my roots to see if it's dry or wet. It feels dry in the front, a little bit wet in the back, so I'm gonna continue drying back there. Wow, look at all this volume going on. Okay, so what I was doing when I started to feel the areas of my roots that were drying, I would gently put my fingers in the root area and gently shake, gently shake a little bit. Again, your hair must be fully dry to do this. If it's wet, it's gonna ruin the whole look. Your hair is gonna look frizzy and messy. You don't wanna do that. And then part your hair to where you want it. You can part it before, um, diffusing as well if you want to keep it you know for a much cleaner look or you can part after i like parting after because i feel like my hair is more voluminous if it just goes like wherever it wants so yeah these are my results i love diffusing for this very reason i feel like it gives my hair so much body so much bounce like my hair is a lot more voluminous when i diffuse my hair than when i air dry alone i am definitely team diffuser all the way especially this one love it again i know it's so expensive but ugh. It's it's a good investment if you can it's a good investment, but yeah guys That's it for this video. Hopefully this helps you if you like this video Please give it a big thumbs up if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe for more videos like this one Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye